So I was exploring the small mixed woodlands where it was pretty much pitch pine and other deciduous trees like oak and maple and walnut and stuff like that. And I didn't find a whole lot, but I did find this guy here, which is an imperial moth caterpillar. And if you can tell, I found him eating pitch pine. So their favorite actually is, is white pine. Uh, and then pitch pine, I think, is probably their second favorite because it's, this is pretty strong with resin. And they'll also eat hemlock and stuff, but they also eat maple and oak and aspen and some of the other broadleaf trees. So some of the identifying features of this guy are these white, this white fluffy fur all around it, which is pretty soft. And then these four yellow tubercles, which are pretty firm, coming out of the, the back of the head area. And then one at the back. And then they have these yellow legs at the front, which they hold together. I'll talk about that later. Um, so right now, I'm going to show you some close-up footage and talk a bit more about them. And there's its head with the eyes down at the bottom, and then the, you can see the three yellow legs holds it, holds it together like that. Sometimes it sticks its head up in the air, and it kind of looks a little intimidating that way, the, the front legs being yellow and all. You know, I can say that its defensive pose kind of works because the ivy kind of found it interesting. Um, <clears throat> she thought it looked kind of creepy that way. It reminded her of Predator. And I have to agree, <laughs> kind of does. It's pretty close to its final stage. If this isn't the final stage, the final instar, which is a fancy word for the different phases they go through before they become an adult, which is the moth or butterfly. They'll molt and stuff. So after this point, it's going to drop down onto the ground, walk along the leaf litter, you know, either crawl under it or dig a bit of a hole. It'll make a large brown cocoon. I don't know how long it takes at this time of year. It might come out in late fall, or it might overwinter. I think it'll come out in late fall. And it'll be a large yellow moth with some pink markings, maybe orange or brown, but usually pink. Uh, they look really cool. And in other states, I believe they're slightly different colors. But beautiful, beautiful caterpillar. Right now, this one's about two, three inches across, three inches long. I don't know, something like that. And there's that beautiful posture. It looks like it's praying or conspiring. You know, nice defensive posture there. Holding those legs up, you know, show those legs to look like fangs or claws. You know, intimidate its enemy or would-be predator. And uh, nice bright color, stands out. You know, really shows the warning. And sometimes bright colors uh, signify, uh, you know, distaste or toxic or venomous so that could be a secondary uh, advantage to those yellow legs there we go imperial moth caterpillar look at those beautiful spots surrounded by turquoise and dark blue it's just gorgeous love this moth